My brake pedal went all the way to the floor. We've got two days to get this thing dry. <laughs> My name is Caleb Peck, and these are my older brothers, Brady and Alex. We were raised in the back seat of a Jeep, and since we were little kids, we've been trying to build our own. So we're going to show you how we build, drive, live, and breathe off-road. Showed up in the driveway. Long story short, <laughs> is there's way too much work to do in two days. And a new tub for this guy. Oh yeah, it's a mint cherry dean of a tub. But Brady told us today's Friday and it has to be out by Sunday because he doesn't want it in there this week. Two, three-ish days. I got to edit this video to come out this Sunday. So, <laughs> really two today. She hasn't been baby, that's for sure. So what we're gonna do, throw a new tub on. I was thinking of uh, doing body work. I, I feel like a tub's gonna be better. Uh, we're gonna back half it. So it's pretty much a frame chop from here back will be completely fresh frame. It goes up higher. We decided to do the Moto Bill one. The Moto Bill one goes super high and it has a really stubby bumper. And it's, it's the best kit that I could find for a JK. Actually, I think it's the only kit for a JK. We're gonna do new fenders. We're gonna do Moto Bill front bumper. That's a really stubby one. It's called their Tomahawk. But honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that much work. All it is, is a tub swap, frame chop, throw a tub back on. So this kind of stuff never seems like it's gonna be a lot of work. And then we get into it and it takes a week. I think we can get it all done this weekend. Well, so that's, what we told that's what we told Braid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're in Braid's shop. He's at work. We told him it'd be clean and, and ready to roll by probably by Saturday night. I think we'll be all right. While I've been editing a reel, he's already got the battery tray off, the TIPM computer stuff all ripped out, got most of the grill support subframe stuff. That's out. So now we're both going to start tearing everything off that we need to to get this tub off as fast as we can so we can start working on the rear back half of the frame. We got the motor mounts off and we got the cage ready to get out because it was welded to the body. This thing's ready to get taken off, I think. What? Dead serious. That was only like two hours and the tub's ready to come off. What'd you take the motor mounts off for? <laughs> Did I say motor mounts? Body mounts are off. <laughs> looks like a toy. It looks so much cooler with no tub. Yeah, it does. That's a lot of spaghetti on there. Yeah, that's a lot of crap. I'm starving though. I need to go get something to eat. 
What are we gonna take? My truck's out of fuel. What do you think we take the Blue Dean? Let's go pick Brady up. Let's do it. Let's get her done. Let's go, where are we going? I'm in the mood for some Wendy's. What about you? They can fit through the drive-thru. Oh yeah. Brady was working at the spec and we figured we'd go pick him up for some lunch. It's also his dog Fred's birthday today, so. He's gotta come with us. This is Fred's birthday lunch. Oh, that's a good boy. Good day, mate. <laughs> What's up? You ready for Fred's birthday lunch? Oh, that's pretty good. Through it. Yeah, there's no way she's that hot. No well, we way. We just got done using the Jake brake coming down that hill, so maybe that heated it up. A large. All natural again? Yeah. Okay. Do one of them five dollar biggie bags. <laughs> We gotta get this thing in the garage and keep going. Day two. We got the body off. It was actually not that bad, but we do have some issues. So the moto built kit gets cut right here where these two go together, which means that body mount gets taken off, which also means my double triangulated lower cross member gets taken out and my uppers get taken out as well. Oh yeah. But it's a good thing because they're nasty. They're all rusty. I can redo these, but it seriously gets cut right here. So this all goes away. I got to do new towers. I knew that. Probably gonna do hoops. A few moments later. Well, we got the frame cut on both sides. We got our little rock slider tube cut out. These are both on the side that gets cut off, so I just chopped it there so I could cut around it later. These are cut. That side's cut. The only thing holding it on is this and uh, my high lift. So, it's on his way up. We're gonna get one person here, one person there, one person there. Taking this frame off. What do you think? Well, I knew it wasn't gonna be some little job. <laughs> but, uh, you didn't think it looked like this the same day it has to be done and out of here? How long did you say you thought it was okay? Well, I'm gonna stick with tomorrow. Well, you not going to work. No, that's uh, I have to call in sick. <laughs> call in sick, use some PTO here. This don't really look like a Jeep no more. I know that everybody's gonna make fun of me because they're gonna say, just put an LS in there, <laughs> it's so easy. You would disagree if you saw his bank account. Champion, bro, <laughs> you champion. So we gotta get the tub back on to mock up the body mount to get the back half perfectly straight. But we just realized the tractor and the body will not fit inside the garage. So we've got to get this body on and Alex has got to start getting real clever really fast. Yeah, so that's the problem. It's too, because we grabbed the tub from the top with the tractor and the bucket's tall and everything. It's not going to fit. I don't really know how we're going to going to get this tub on. Comment, comment what you would do. That's how much we're working with to get a tub. The thing that sucks is it's gotta come up and over and onto these body mounts. So it's gotta go pretty high. I think it's time to, for me to go home. A few inches later. Alan finally has it ready enough. We're throwing this tub on and it's gonna be like really, really, really 
really close to being able to get the tractor close enough to the back of the frame. So let's see what happens. brakes in her Jeep just coming down a hill and all of a sudden I guess pedal went to the floor and she has no brakes so um, I'm gonna go save her real quick so they can keep working on the Jeep and uh, have her drive the truck home and I'll drive the Jeep home with no brakes so we'll see how it goes I think we found her Little sister. What happened? Oh, you weren't kidding, Lloyd. She's an angel. I was just coming up the hill and a car just pulled out and didn't see me. And I, they were like pulling to go this way and I was coming this way. And luckily, well, okay, well I hit my brake and my brake pedal went all the way to the floor and Are you sure? slow me down. No, I mean seriously. So how'd you stop on a downhill? I was going uphill. Well, you're going downhill right no, now. I know, I shifted into second, and then I hit the e-brake. When I, I, well, I shifted in first, and then hit the e-brake right there. So you stopped with your e-brake. You shifted down and stopped with your e-brake. That is what I'm talking <laughs> about. That's how you do <laughs> it. Well, let's go check it out. Sad little JK. The seat's adjustable now, we fixed that. Stop filming. Let me hide my Cheetos. Uh oh. <laughs> I, when I stopped, I pressed the pedal down and it went all the way to the floor again without like any resistance back. Yeah. But I just did it again and there's resistance now. Okay, I'll check. We'll, we'll look at it and see what's going on. Oh, here it is. I found it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like that brake line's cracked or broke. It's leaking all over. I'm gonna drive this back home. Luckily, it's a manual and I can uh, shift down. All right, here we go. And we're off. There's about 900 lights on the dash. some good progress on the old back half so I was able to get the this section of the frame cleaned up and this slides in and it's it's weird because there's a little gap here but I think this is for a four-door I got a two-door I don't know anyways we got the body mount in which kind of locates it where it needs to go and then I've got the back cross member in and it's all mounted body mounted up so our next step is to get this section, what this does, it just goes right there, put this onto that, and we weld that sucker right there. What it's on. What are you thinking? It's a lot closer than you care for it to be. Yeah, that's, if it's within 15 degrees, that's good enough. Looks pretty cool. A little trusty straight edge. <laughs> what is that? I'm not really sure if it's straight or not, but it's probably a shower curtain. So now we can get in here, weld all the way around inside. Weld there, weld inside of there. Well, we'll just weld her up. We gotta put our suspension mounts back on. I just finished Callie's Jeep. It was really boring, so I didn't film it, but I'll show you guys real quick what we ran into and what happened. 
uh, why she lost her brakes coming down, uh, coming back home. This brake line right here, it goes from metal to rubber and they make a connection inside this tube and it's a mystery. They don't you know, they don't want you to see how they made that connection and we found out why. But uh, it's all done, bled, and the brakes feel good again. Um, this is the old one, and as you can see, I cut the boot off, and I don't know how on earth Jeep thinks that that's supposed to hold over time. Well, pretty much if you've got a JK, we would suggest you probably look at that, because that can get a little bit scary if you lose your brakes, um, especially coming down something. So that's a terrible design on Jeep's part. part. I think that they should probably do something about that because that's not a very good idea. Or if you're if you've got a get JK, I'm sure a lot of people make upgraded parts for this, so I would recommend probably going ahead and doing that. So I'm gonna go and park her Jeep back in the driveway, get it all ready for her tomorrow, so she's good to go, and uh, hopefully it doesn't blow the other side because they didn't have any of those in stock. Two hours later. Hey Bray, can I use your garage this weekend? <laughs> Sure, dude, no problem. That's blood. That's blood. That's blood. That's blood. Something really bad happened right here. Later. I just want to go to bed. Dude. No, you don't. I'm so sick of this. You just need a haircut. It's, you know what? Yeah, that's true. You know, the problem is, it's not even like the mobile kit was easy, right? Oh, yeah. We it's slicker than it all get out. If we would have just done it like the instructions said, we'd be flying down the road right now on this. But with a tub swap, custom suspension, all of this crap <sighs> reusing brackets because it's a weekend and I can't buy any. That's a problem. I didn't know that we had to cut the old brackets off the frame because the motorboat kit's here. And I didn't buy these, like extra ones, because I didn't know we needed them. So I had to reuse these off my old frame. And these and these, and the other side. And that's what took the longest. I torched these out of the frame, then cleaned them up and welded them back on. So that's what took the longest. It's ready to go now, it'll cool off. Hey, what's all the blood all around the garage? What'd you do? I hit my finger with the grinder. What? <laughs> you know, sometimes when you take the guard off, yeah. what actually happened when I was grinding, yeah. that guard was just like, a suggestion. It started vibrating. <laughs> That's really? Yeah. With the flap wheel or the cutoff? It was the flap wheel. Thank oh, goodness. Dang. It went right through my glove. I was wearing gloves. Just no sleeves as you can tell. You meant it went right through my gloves. <laughs> You've never bought a glove in your life. Well, not me personally, but a guy I know. Oh. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're well, Raider Dad's gloves. <laughs> yeah, that Caleb took. Yeah, so we just... Uh, sewed my finger back on with some butt connectors and solder. I actually yeah. found some hydrogen peroxide to put on that. Woo! He thought Don would do the trick and I said no. Let's, let's see your finger. It's got a band-aid over it. And you can still move it? Everything's... Oh yeah. Yeah, that's still work. It's... Oh, look, I can even go back. Wow. What are you doing? Well, I'm uploading all of the footage. Th this is where the magic happens let's, right Let's here. let everybody in on what has to happen tonight. So I gotta edit like hours and hours and hours of footage. This video is gonna come out at six in the morning and it's almost 11. Oh, how so long does it normally take you to edit? A video this long is normally like six to eight hours to edit. <laughs> so it'll probably come barely get uploaded by the time it's got to come out tomorrow morning but hey i'm willing to do it we're committed we're committed 
We didn't master this in two days. We actually didn't even get that close. Not even close, Not even close which isn't that surprising. But he's going to keep tearing up tomorrow, keeping it going. I'm busy tomorrow. He's going to keep it going. Thank you so much for watching. Wait for the next part two of this video. Coming out on Wednesday. Coming out on Wednesday. Oh, and guess what? If you have any questions about who we are, what we're doing, my Jeep, if you know what my Jeep is, go check out our website, peckbrothersoffroad.com. Even if you're not subscribed to this channel, you think we're a bunch of idiots, check out that website if you're at all interested in this stuff, because there's a lot of good information on there and a lot of old BS. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, there's no BS on there. Oh. And we got an Instagram. Go follow us on Instagram, TikTok. If you want to see some either cool, funny, unapplicable hair farmers, mustache wearing, <laughs> <laughs> go check us out on social media. Thank you so much for watching Peck Brothers Off-Road. <laughs>